It's a big mouth, you know. I know it all. Don't listen to him. He's an in-kind poop. The guy is a radio G. Eight, five, nine. Um, actually, I'm lying. The radio's not switched on. I'm just pretending for the video. Right, hi everyone. This is Chris Two E Zero UKH, and I just wanted to show you this handy website, full of information, tips and tricks on the Anytone eight six eight eight seven eight and the B Tech variation. And you know, this video is mainly about customising the screen, but I'll put a link in the description, and um, there's tons and tons of handy stuff on here. It's all about modifying the radio, problems, problem solving, programming it, and uh, the differences between the different Anytone radios, extending the receive coverage, tons and tons of handy information, and it's even got some logos on that you can download and flash to the radio. So I'm just going through the site. Drivers are on there with instructions. Information there about private call. Information about battery sizes. And I'm just looking for the bit, right here it is. Custom background displays for your Anytone. 878. Eight. Now, I guess at the time of writing this website, the 868 hadn't had the update. I think this works on the 868 now because they've got the option for the black screen. But to get this working, you download this zip file. So I've downloaded it. You download this zip file and put it on your desktop somewhere. So I've got mine on my desktop there and I've got if you look in the bottom right of the display you can see my radio and I'm just going to run the uh, CPS software the wires connected to the computer come on get on with it that's it right so we're in the CPS software And there's an option, where is it, program tools is it, in tools there's an option called standard background image, stand, stand, standby, BK picture, that's what it says. And quite simply you just browse it to that folder, you know I, I've unzipped that thing that I downloaded, the zip file, put the folder on my desktop and I'm just going to browse to that folder. So I've clicked on open image. Now, I've turned off thumbnails, but on yours these will all be thumbnails of different pictures. So I can choose different ones here. So I double click on that one, open picture. It's got that logo. And to flash it to the radio, you just click right. Right. So it's going across to the radio. The radio's reset and then comes back on and it should have that logo on it. And there's a whole ton of logos. I'll just go through some in this zip. And I spoke to Jason who wrote the website. And he was happy for me to do a video on it. So that's the one I've just wrote to the radio. And I think these look really smart. So you can go through all these, finding the best one. And I'm just going to show you the pi a picture of each one in this zip file. You know, once you understand how 
the imaging works, you know, it's a bitmap. It's a bitmap in image. You can look at the resolution and you can edit them. You you know, you can make your own, change the colours, make new ones, make a plain blue screen. You know, and you'll find something that works. Right, so these are the photo uh, the pictures in this folder here. So I'm just going to go through each one. On my slow computer. Come on, get on with it. Right, so I'm just going to zoom in on that part of the screen. And I'll go through them hopefully. So I'm just going through these different images. And they're, like I say, they're bitmaps. So I think, are we back to the start? No. But, you know, you can edit these. You can make your own and upload them to the radio using that feature. By the way, in the CPS software, there is a setting which you'll need. So I've got the software back up. I'm just going to zoom out again. So it's in uh, Optional Settings Display, I think it is. Display. Where is it? Standby Background BK Picture. And I've got it on custom. So if you have it on custom, you can have a picture. Your other choice is default, and then it will go back to the black. So you can set it in the software here, and then flash send that across to the radio, or you can do it in the radio itself. I think it's in settings, and then the top uh, radio set, and in there background image, and you change it to a custom picture in there. So looks pretty smart. And I'm going to go through some of these and see what looks good. Okay, right, 73, uh, 2E0UKH.